Hi everyone, I'm children's author Janet Hoffman, and today I'm going to take you inside my book, Fur and Feathers. It's a fiction picture book for ages three to eight, uh, and it was illustrated by Lori Allen Klein, and the publisher is Arborville Publishing. And it's the story of a little girl named Sophia uh, who has a dream. Uh, there, there's a storm going on. And so in her dream, she dreams that the storm takes the covers off all the animals. So in her dream, she uh, finds her grandma's big sewing box. And then she uh, tells the animals that she'll make them new coats. They just have to need, need to tell her what, what they need um, for their coat. So... Um, and she also adds her own special touches. So she starts with, uh, oh, here's, here's the storm. But in her dreams, the animals whirl with the whipping wind. Faster and faster they spin till the wind blows them right out of their coats. Fur, shells, feathers, and scales fly everywhere. The animals shiver in their bare skin. And if you're familiar with my book, A Little Skink's Tale, which was also illustrated by Lori Young Klein, she put Little Skink in the storm here, <laughs> which is a lot of fun. So the first animal uh, is the polar bear. Polar bear pads forward first. I need a coat of thick white fur to keep me warm and to help me hide in the ice and snow, she says. Snip, tuck, stitch. In no time, Sophia fashions a furry new coat for Polar Bear. Behind one ear, she sews a little red heart, but Polar Bear doesn't notice. See the little red heart there. <clears throat> and another animal is the fish. Can I be next so I can get back to the water calls fish from the back of the line? Everyone steps aside to let her go ahead. I need smooth scales so I can swish, 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 lickety-split, she says. And please slime me, too. Sophia chooses sequins for fish, all decked out in slimy, shiny sequins. Fish is not only the fastest, but the flashiest. There's lots of animals, uh, different animals in the book, and one of them is the ladybug. Then another small voice pipes up. The wind blew off my colorful wind covers, says Ladybug. Now I can't warn birds that I taste awful. Sophia cuts tiny new wing covers out of red plastic. On them she draws little black dots and two stars. Ladybug opens her new wing covers and extends her flying wings, happy to be a star. All night long, Sophia sews more coats for an endless parade of animals. Here's the animals that still, still need coats here and adds their own special touches. And then the next morning, in the morning when she wakes up, her mother has a surprise. The whole family is going to spend the day at the zoo. Look, exclaims grandma, pointing to a polar bear. That bear has a red heart behind her ear. Sophia just smiles. And this grandma in the book, the illustrator modeled this grandma after her own mom, which is very nice. And then there's activities at the back of the book to extend, extend the book. And you can find this book at bookstores and online and any bookstore would be happy to order for you, from you, for you. Um, and you can find out more information at my website, JanetHoffmanAuthor.com. Uh, and there's lots of good links there uh, to more information. And uh, the, the publisher created an uh, uh, activity guide, a many page activity guide to go with this book. Uh, and you can find the link to that there. Uh, and you can also find a way to contact me if you have any questions. Thanks for listening and happy reading.